Hi, this is Clement City Lector. In electronics, temperature can be measured with, for instance, a thermistor. Another way is to use a resistance temperature detector or RTD. Then there is the thermal couple. Often used also are semiconductor based sensors. There are many more temperature related effects in nature that can be used for measuring the temperature. The chirping sound produced by a cricket is temperature dependent too. Similar to estimating the distance of a thunderstorm by counting the time between a lightning flash and the thunder that follows it, the temperature of the air can be estimated by counting the number of chirps produced by a cricket in one minute. Using the cricket chirp rate to determine the air temperature in degrees Fahrenheit is easy. Just count chirps for 15 seconds and then add 40 to the count. To get the temperature in degrees Celsius, just count the number of chirps during 8 seconds and add 5 to it. Now that we know this, we can invert the process and emulate a cricket based on the ambient temperature. We can use this Arduino based circuit for that. To do so, connect the DS18B20 one wire temperature sensor together with a passive buzzer to an Arduino Uno board. The parts needed to do this project are available in the Arduino sensor kit. You can buy this kit from the Elector webshop at elector.com. If you use a DS18B20 chip, then don't forget to connect a 4.7 kilo ohms pull up resistor between the sensor's middle pin and plus 5 volts. The DS18B20 module in the kit has such a resistor pre-installed. Now that the circuit is ready, we can write the software for it. First of all, we need some libraries. If you don't have them already, use the Arduino IDE's library manager to install the OneWire and DS18B20 libraries. Obtaining temperature data from the sensor is now easy. All you have to do is declare a DS18B20 object and then repeatedly call its getTempC member function. This will get you the temperature in degrees Celsius. Convert the temperature to a period in milliseconds using the equations given at the Wikipedia page and add some extra math. The temperature is read in degrees Celsius before being converted to degrees Fahrenheit. We do this because that is what Amos Dolbear came up with and we will consider that to be the most accurate method. The Celsius equation is an approximation of Amos Dolbear's approximation. The DS18B20 library features a getTempF function to get the temperature in Fahrenheit, but it does the same thing as I did here. However, the value in degrees Celsius is lost when you use that function. Reading in Celsius and converting to Fahrenheit is therefore slightly quicker. The chirp rate of the cricket emulator is limited mainly by the one wire interface of the DS18B20 as its temperature read operation takes 250 milliseconds. By using a faster temperature sensor, much higher chirp rates and therefore much higher temperatures are possible. Now this looks like a silly project and uh, to be honest that is how it started. However, once I had it up and running I quickly noticed how sensitive the human ear is to rate changes. And in the end I think this uh, emulator could make for a useful temperature indicator in applications where it is not practical to keep an eye on a display. So that's it, I hope this was useful for you, thank you for watching.